Oi! Oi, Tony! What? What do you lot want? There's people here to see you, mate. Oh, I see. Kindred brothers and sisters looking to join the movement. It's always a pleasure to meet someone looking to stick their middle fucking finger up at the ivory tower. <laughs> it really says something about each and every one of you that you've had the balls to show up here tonight. To take a stand alongside the movement for your freedoms. It's not an easy choice. Every anarch has had to face it. So you're not alone. Look at all the kindred beside you. I mean, look at fucking me. No, we've all had to make the same choice. You're in good company here. You all came here to learn more about the movement. So let me give you an introduction before uh, you meet the rest of the movement proper. So, rules. Rule one, don't break the bloody masquerade. Rule two, don't break the fucking masquerade. Yeah, that's it. Well, what did you bloody expect? We're called the Anarchs for fuck's sake. We don't follow outdated traditions and edicts like the can. You gotta free yourself from that sort of shit. The only exception is the masquerade, which is just common fucking sense. That aside, follow the rules you wish to follow and follow the leaders that prove themselves to you. And that right there is the essence of what we're about. We cut through the bullshit and we speak the truth. We make sure our leaders rule at the sufferance of their people. Not like some musky primogen council or some twat elder behind the curtains and certainly not for their own fucking benefit. We're building something real, a better way of doing things. What we're building takes different forms, depending on where you go and who you ask. But there's always an idea, a goal, and an end game. At the end of the night, we believe in something greater than ourselves. That's what separates us from the ivory tower. Just look at their laws, think about it. All of their traditions are based on nothing more than survival and self-fucking interest. And it shows in how they rule. A prince is just a fancy word for a fucking dictator. A sheriff could kill anyone with impunity. And I bet your primogen has never spoken to you outside of telling you what the fuck he'd do. And they're supposed to represent us? Oh, fucking likely. Hell, just look at how they dealt with the Inquisition. They've decided to literally ban technology during the fucking information age. They fucked off into the sunrise, abandoning everyone on the ground floor and they had the audacity to blame us after they got caught screwing around with the fucking government. We've got Theo Bell to thank for getting us out of that, by the way. So, who the fuck is, who the fuck is Theo Bell? <laughs> well, he's a brewer, like me. And used to be a cameo enforcer, like me. But, you see, he's the one who found out the cam was throwing us under the bus for their bullshit. So, he took a stand. Well, he blew some fucker's head off, taking the cam's head enforcer out and brought our entire clan over to the movement. Along with the gangrel at his back. If you want to start a punch-up, just ask of one true suit. If he's descended from our dish twat. <laughs> it's great for a fucking laugh. He's not the only kid we've got to thank though. You've got figures like Tyler, McNeil, Xavier, God rest his soul, Garcia, and, uh, oh, fucking, 
looking at that lady. What's his fucking name? Look, I ain't no scholar, right? Go find a fucking Tremere or some NOS nerd if you want a history lesson in all this. Listen, the movement isn't defined by those people. We don't hero worship here. The movement is built off kindred like fucking you. Those who have been mistreated, forgotten, or simply wish to take a stand against some tyrant prick. Fuck it. Why don't you just be your own damn hero? Make a stand, make a mark on this world, and then the next time some snivelly, snot-nosed fuckwit comes along and interrupts me, I can tell them all about you. Now, stop wasting my time, get on the bus, or fuck off. Because we got an ivory tower to burn. Yo, Theo, play up, bruh. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. If you've enjoyed it and would like to see more, please subscribe and click on that little bell icon. If you have any ideas for vampire LARP related videos, then please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you all again soon.